What is going on subs and welcome back to another towing and hauling challenge back by popular demand Thank you Spencer OMG for suggesting this So obviously when I did this this was back in like January So we had very limited equipment now we have all these nice trucks today We're looking at the f-250 basically the squad truck and we're looking at the advanced features um, in today's video of this one has the advanced towing package so this has the stiffer suspension and this one has your stock suspension so we're going to show you and from Jacob Spencer he said keep things level so there's a point on keeping things level so you look at the truck and it's pretty much stock height with the trailer the and then this has the adjustable neck adjustable necks all the way up as you roll this thing up and then look at the truck you start to see it sag so when you're positioning stuff on a trailer you want to keep it more towards the axle depending on your suspension if you got airbags you could run them a little closer see that's what you don't want when you're trying to tow all my trucks back in January were like you know just a little squat you want a little squat if you do not have a little bit of a squat your trailer will fish so in real life with obviously um, the only things that my parents have towed is boats well those are pre uh, they have the pre weight they're all set up you don't have to do much anything you just drive the boat on and it's always sitting on the front and you know up to the front so you have some trailer weight. Um, the only thing else we have is an enclosed trailer, which is just a little one, and it's I think it's like 700 pounds on the ton. So that's enough weight to keep the tires down and make them from not swaying. So that's what you got to do when you're loading these trucks up. You want you want a little squat. You want it to squat maybe five or six inches. I ain't no expert, but you want a little bit of a squat. So this is not your advanced towing package. You want to keep it fairly back. And there you go. So this is with it all the way back. You have a tiny bit of squat just to keep the tires down. And it rides pretty smooth. Now this game is pretty advanced. Even in 17 I put something up front and I squat the truck all the way down. And it was fishtailing. So let's see if we can back it or we'll put it forward and then I'll show you how it rides and then if you don't have any squad you'll actually fishtail I think I kind of said that wrong so so when you have it all the way to the front so now your headlights are up you're up you're pointed up and this is really bad for the truck because you can hurt the suspension you're rubbing against the wheel wells And I don't think we're going to be able to simulate no squad, but we'll see what we can get away with. Should sit all the way back here. And this is with no squad, and you can kind of see it fishtail, but it's really hard to see. But yeah, when I turn, it doesn't retain itself. It kind of like fishtails around, so it's proper weight distribution basically let's put it back on I don't know why he's sharing that video to me. Alright, so now we have, you know, minimum squad, recommended squad, and let's see how she tows. And then with these trailers, you can always adjust the trailer next to to get your ultimate ride height. Yeah, it looks good. Smooth down the road. Got that little bit of a bounce. Um, if you go back into the mod spotlight I did, that's when I integrated the whole testing in the right hand, lower right hand corner, 
and I showed you with a camper and another trailer of the squat. You can actually squat the towing package with a fifth wheel with um, the Creek trailer, I believe. I can't remember. I think it was, but it's made by a, um, what was that one? Iconic Upgrades. I'm going to quickly turn around here. And then it's, you know, gooseneck is this, or not gooseneck, but, um, what is it? Bumper pole, it's the same way. Bumper pole is a lot more sensitive than, um, gooseneck, because you can haul a lot more weight with gooseneck, because you're right over the axle, but with the bumper pole, it's like you're off the edge of the truck, basically. You got a lot of weight sitting right on the end of the truck, but the axle actually holds up this trailer when it's a fifth wheel. Alright, so we'll get back and then I'm just going to swap trailer or swap the trucks out and then we'll test the towing package out. As I record this, I think most of the world's back in school. I know I am. I started Monday the 26th. So this past Monday. I don't know how many people are on the traditional schedule. That's what I call it. It's when you go back to school after Labor Day. Which, in reality, um, even my high school follows this schedule where you go back on the 26th. I'm like, you're just a week out from the traditional schedule, so don't know what the point was. Uh, let's see. Hit that. So this one has the towing package. You can definitely tell it sits up higher. And now, uh, look, it has no squat because it's got the towing package. So this one could haul a lot more weight. Alright, so you can come up here and actually even with just one of these... Um, front, or no, was it, uh, telehandlers, it actually won't squat it. So now we'll get up on the trailer. And it still doesn't squat it. Probably have to adjust the neck. And yeah, there you go. It has some good suspension. So that's what you want if you're like towing big heavy loads. Uh, probably if you're doing like a lot of hotshot trucking. I guess it's got a tiny bit of squat. Not too much. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you to Spencer OMG for suggesting this to come back. Uh, thanks, man. Definitely, we got some more equipment now than what we did in January. So I'm going to be doing some more of these videos. You guys should definitely check out the Diesel Brothers game. I was giving away like two or three games on Steam just for the hell of it. So if you guys catch me in a good mood on one of those videos, definitely should keep an eye on those videos. You know, it's not a very popular video, so if you want to win a Steam game, definitely wait for those videos to come out. So I'll be giving away Steam games for a while until, you know, nobody really wants them. Maybe we'll do some bigger ones like GTA 5 or some of the bigger titles. But for now, it's just a bunch of random titles that I pay for like $6. But I'm not going to lie, I get some pretty decent games. Like, you pay $6, but... Got a couple ones that were like worth $15 a piece. Like, that's some pretty good stuff for your money. 
And with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching another video. Thank you guys um, for boosting the channel. I've definitely been seeing the increase, and it's been making me more motivational to do more videos and stuff. Come on. And always have the strong farmer, any of your fold safe folders or anything, because stuff like this, this is a heavy load. Oh, come on. You are not a hundred tons. It's... Oh, come on. There we go. Awesome. And then with that vehicle enhancing mod down in the lower right-hand corner, we are 9.1 tons with all this weight. Because I don't think right now we have vehicle scales. Could be wrong. But... With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'll definitely give you guys um, some awesome props, some stuff for getting the channel back up. Uh, number one, just being first on the video, and you can get a chance to win a Steam game. Um, if you guys are not first starting now, uh, comment anyways, and I'm going to try to get, I'll have to find out where it is, or I'll just randomly pick. A winner too so we're gonna do two winners a video first place and then a random video or a random time so it, it not especially gonna be like right after the video is posted but it could be two to three days later so start commenting the more comments you have down there start a conversation with me ask about something the more comments you place down there and I hate this load so much uh, you could definitely win so I could come back you know a week or two later and you know pick somebody out of the blue so obviously not the same person that won the first so with that have a great day guys and hope you guys enjoyed your summer